guys. Um, I've worked with this setup a little bit, trying to find a way where I'm in a decent frame, but this is as good as it's going to get. I just can't fiddle with it anymore. Um, I also know my lights are off on the back, or in the back. <laughs> it's because the clicker's on, <laughs> clicker is on the floor, and I didn't want to go get my grabber. It was one extra step. So, hi guys. Uh, this is the first time that I'm filming officially since my surgery. And I have a few, sorry, that was a long pause. I was actually swallowing, trying not to snort like I really need to. Um, I have an, an, I have a, I'm so sorry. I'm so distracted, you guys. I have a surgery video coming. And my best friend is coming down. I want her to video some of how the equipment works. Obviously, my scars on my back, I can't shoot that. My husband can, but we'll get into some um, some stuff. Either way. So she's going to come. I'm already starting. This is what this video is going to be about. Okay. That's it. We're not even going to talk about it. Look, the surgery video is coming. I love you guys. It's coming. This is what we're here for. It's hard to plan a motion when you have to set up equipment, so I've kind of had this set up waiting for this wave that's been happening a lot lately. So let me explain to you what's going on. So after surgery, I am three weeks out. Today is the 7th. Uh, July 7th, I had my surgery on June 16th. So I'm three weeks out. Of a surgery that takes six to eight weeks to heal from. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're in pain for six to eight weeks, but it means that you can't bend and twist because the leads that they put in your spine need to need to scar in place. Oh, I'm so sorry for the snorting. I, I'm sorry. It is what it is. But that's the wrong side. Um, and everybody wants to come at you with the energy of, <laughs> yay, you had your surgery and you've been fighting and clawing and desperately trying to get doctors to believe you and desperately trying to get medical professionals to give you an answer and give you some relief that... These people, these allies that have been beside you, feel like there's a victory, and there is. But I, I use this in reference to a friend of mine, a, a social media friend, who has had this surgery as well. She's been a guide for me through this. Um, I, I, invaluable, just invaluable. That's why I'm doing this, because back in my day, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for the ratchet nails. I'm sorry for the nose. I'm sorry that I don't have tissues because I'm not going to go get them because I don't want to move. But back in the day, we didn't have these resources. So um, she's invaluable to me. And I told her, I said, it's like you get it. And it's the first day after you've been really sick, right? That first day that you start to feel better. And you go, oh, I feel great. And I'm going to do this and this and this. And then you realize, oh, no, I'm still hella sick. That's what it felt like. Because your nerves are only such a small part of what's going on with you. So, yeah, yeah, set, shutting off. Those signals is a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a help. You guys are getting into the innermost corners of my mind, okay? So when I start talking about the person I am, please understand that I'm talking about the person that I try to be. I try to be this kind of person. I'm, I'm human. 
I'm not always this kind of person, but I try not to be hypocritical. So, <laughs> it's this weird juxtaposition. You spend so long of your life telling people, I'm sick, you've got to believe me, I'm sick, for God's sakes, please believe me, I'm sick, right? But also saying, I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. I've got it. It's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt that badly. So you spend your life kind of at this weird, uh, this weird crossroads. It's this weird push and pull of trying to tell the people you need to tell, no, I'm not okay. And the people that need that reassurance, I've got this. <laughs> So you have this surgery, and everybody wants to hear how much it helps you. How much it helps you, how much it helps you, how much it helps you, and it does, it does. <laughs> Ooh. But as somebody who tries so hard, so hard not, not, to focus on my illness, not to make excuses about my illness, not, you know, like, I explained it to one of my friends when somebody asks how I'm doing and I, I, I really truly have to explain it, it's like putting on a wool sweater on the inside. I just feel itchy and hot and uncomfortable. <sighs> I am so sorry. so so oh I don't want to cut this out because I want you guys to see the truth but also my nose is running all over the place you guys <laughs> but also it's turned me into somebody that wants to finish every sentence with but I still hurt so badly <laughs> from somebody who just wanted it to be like no I'm fine I'm good my second day post-op I tried to cook a dinner I did cook a dinner and from somebody that tries to push through it does push through a lot to somebody who feels like they also need to <laughs> validate that this didn't fix me. <laughs> you know, because most people spend so long not understanding what's going on in you to begin with, right? That to try to tell people that this doesn't fix you, you know? If you're pouring... Oh, I'm, trying to, I, I'm trying to think of a good metaphor here. Bowling. Um, I, I guess there's bowling everywhere. Maybe. Yes. I don't know, you guys. My pain brain's really bad. <sighs> bowling. Okay? Here's my nose. Sorry. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Um, bowling. You have ten pins, right? And you send that ball down and you want to knock down all ten pins. That Those ten pins, that's your pain, right? They're, they're the, all those things that are just that are causing you the kind of discomfort that causes you to contemplate getting out of bed in the morning. Okay? That pain. And you send the ball down. That surgery ball. And you're hoping to knock down 10 pins. Now understand this surgery is not going to knock down 10 pins and I knew that going into it. But for explanation's sake you know, that's great. You've got a score on the board, but there's still nine pins standing. There are still nine things going. 
stab and punch and 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 you know oh it's not just your lower back I just I hate being turned into somebody who feels the need for people to understand how much pain they're in outside of medical professionals oh, you know medical professionals and even then I have a hard time I think most of us do saying how bad it really is and, and picking what we're going to talk about. I mean, are we going to talk about the fact that I need to see somebody about my bladder? Are we going to talk about the fact that I need to get my neck shaved? Makeup just fell on the floor. I mean, or, or talk about the fact that we, I need to get my neck shaved and another stimulator put in. You know, what? where's the balance? Do we talk about the fact that my finger keeps dislocating, that my trigger fingers are acting up? Or do we talk about the fact that I'm pretty sure next time I yawn, I'm going to get locked jawed? Like, these are the things that we go through with our medical professionals, but I've never, ever, ever felt the need to justify how much pain I'm in to other people. Most of the time I'm trying to tell them how okay I am. But it's like they just want to look at you and go, but you got a surgery. But you're feeling better, right? <sighs> you know, my husband is one of the most beautiful human beings on this planet. When I was going into my surgery, he bought me <laughs> things to help me wipe. He bought me sponges. He bought me grabbers and grabbers and a hip replacement kit and all kinds of stuff. But you know, he's... We've gone through the, the, the pandemic that shall not be named. And he, he's feeling it too and I see him coming home every day exhausted and tired <laughs> and I am an emotional wreck <laughs> because I just need somebody to tell me I'm doing okay and that it's okay to not be okay and that it's okay that I'm still in pain and that they know it and that suddenly the expectations are that I can miraculously do these amazing things. <sighs> this is why I set this up early, but I really try not to cut on these emotional videos, guys. I, re I really do. So that you can see it play out. You can see my thoughts go, you can see my emotions. I think it's important that's why I put this on there. That's why I set this up. That's why I'm making this video. Because it's important. Because for the beautiful human beings who have gone through this, who will go through this, who have gone through something similar, and are wondering why. <laughs> why am I not happier? Why am I, why am I feeling like people don't understand. Why am I feeling like I need to justify myself? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can break down. You can be like this. You can feel like that. It is. It's okay. So I just kind of wanted to hop on here and let you know where I was. This is not a huge representation of how I feel. I do have some really good days, but I've had some really bad days recently. <laughs> some really bad days. And, oh, here we go again. You know, when the people in your life that are really the most attentive to you, when you have the bad days, when they're having bad days of their own, it's hard because you do rely a lot on other people to pull you out of that. So just know that right now, I'm pulling myself out. I'm telling myself it's okay. It's okay. 
I don't have to do anything more than I've done. First of all, I'm three weeks post-op, but also, <laughs> I'm a broken ass bitch, okay? <laughs> Let's just be real. I'm a broken ass bitch, and I have to, I have to understand that. Oh, I am so sorry for the amount of snot in here. If you've made it this far, I hope you took a shot every time I snorted because Lord knows that you'll be on the floor and you won't, you won't have heard the last 10 of them. <sighs> but you guys, I love you. I see you. Pain recognizes pain. I am here and we've got this, okay? I love you guys.